Hello guys, I'm Maunika. Welcome back to Learn HTML. Happy to see you all again in this HTML course. A warm welcome to you all. In previous video, we discussed some of the simple tags, right? We discussed superscript and subscript tags, delete and insert tags, and finally strikeout tag. These tags we have discussed in previous video, right? And finally, with the help of these five tags, we coded our exercise number three, right? So these steps we discussed in previous video. So if you didn't watch my previous videos, I will provide link of my previous videos in description box. Kindly check over there. So I request you to watch my previous videos because if you watch my previous videos, you can get a better continuity over here. So without further delay, let's proceed into today's content. So this is what the agenda for today. So today we are going to see how to mark up image on HTML web page. Today we are going to mark up our first image on HTML web page. Okay. Finally, we are going to discuss two more tags, figure tag and figure caption tags. Okay. This is what the agenda for today. And finally, with the help of this content, we are going to code on exercise. That is exercise number four. As I said earlier, exercises are most important. Exercises will help us to develop our knowledge better. So don't skip exercises. So first, let us learn these contents. First, let us learn these steps. Then we can code this exercise. Okay. First, let me explain how to mark up our first image on HTML web page. So far, we have discussed only the simple tags, right? So far, we have discussed uh, simple tags, right? So, so far, we have discussed heading tags, paragraph tags, and so on. So, so far, we didn't discuss anything about image. So, today, we are going to mark up our image on HTML web page. We will discuss how to mark up that. So, to mark up image on HTML web page, we will be using image tag. With the help of image tag, we will mark up image on HTML web page. So let me show it practically. As I said earlier, we need a text editor and a web browser to learn HTML. As you already know, I'm using Sublime Text Editor. Okay, let me open my Sublime Text Editor. So this is what the uh, code we have seen in last few videos, right? So this is whatever web page we have designed in last few videos. Let me continue here. Okay, so let me open my web browser also. So this is my text editor. Let me open my web browser index.html. Let me open it. So as you can see, this is what we have created in last few videos, right? Now I wish to import my image in this web page. So in my web browser, you can see one image, right? In my desktop, you can see one image, right? So this particular image I want to uh, import in web browser. Okay, I want to import in my web page. So how to mark up it? As you can see this image, HTML logo, right? So I want to mark up this particular image in my web browser or web page. Okay, how to do it? So to achieve this, we will be using image tag. IMG stands for image. So let me show you image, IMG. Okay, IMG stands for image. So image tag is one of the self-closing tags. So in previous classes, we have discussed two self-closing tags, right? What are those two? HR and BR, right? HR stands for horizontal rule and BR stands for break rule. These two self-closing tags we discussed in previous classes, right? So self-closing tags in the sense that tags without any content. The tags without any content is called a self-closing tag, right? Similarly, image tag is also one of the self-closing tag because here we will not be specifying any content. We will be specifying file name alone. Okay, there is no content, right? There is no content. To mark up image, we need only file name. The content is not necessary there, right? So uh, image tag doesn't contain any content. So image tag is one of the self-closing tag, right? Okay. So let me specify attribute. So I'm going to mark up this image in my web page, right? HTML logo in my web page. So I'm going to use source attribute SRC. Okay. So SRC means source. SRC stands for source. So this is what the name of the attribute. Okay. SRC stands for source. This is what the name of the attribute. 
so as i said earlier attributes exist as name value pair right so i need to specify value for this particular attribute what is the value in the sense we need to specify the source of the file so my file is in desktop right so i'm going to specify my file name there so make sure that your web page or you can say your web browser your uh, html web page and uh, your uh, uh, which file you wish to mark up those two things are in the same location as you can see my web page index.html and my file html logo this file i want to mark up in my web page right so these things are in my uh, desktop okay so these two things are in same location okay make sure that your web page and the file you need to import those two things are in the same location here my web page and my file are in the same location so no problem i can import it otherwise you need to specify the correct path if your file is in downloads or some other location better you can copy that file to the location where your web page is if your web page is in desktop you can copy your image file in desktop or if your file is in some other folder you can copy your image file to that particular folder okay so the, that will be easy for us okay so here as of now my image file is in my desktop so i can copy i can uh, easily do this so uh, there is no need for copying right i can easily uh, mark up this because my web page and my uh, image file is in the same location so let me type my file name here html logo this is what my file name right html logo this is what my file name so html logo extension for image file is jpg so let me give this extension jpg so let me close the tag as i said earlier image tag is a self closing tag here there won't be any content okay so let me save it control s so let me show you in my web browser so as you can see my html web page so in my html web page html logo is imported right so in my html web page my required image is imported right so here i am specifying html logo.jpg so this is what the file so that file is imported here so this file is in big size so i will explain how to resize this image uh, i will explain how to reduce the height and width of this particular image okay so uh, you need to remember one point your uh, web page and your file that needs to be imported should be in the same location or else better you copy that file to the location where your web page is okay so here uh, my web page and uh, my image file is in the same location so in the source attribute uh, you specify the name of the file okay so this is what name of the attribute and this is the value of the attribute attributes always exist as name value pair so as i said earlier this is attribute this is an attribute right so as i said earlier now we are going to reduce the height and width of this particular image so how to reduce it by using height and weight attribute sorry by using height and width attribute weight is some other thing i'll explain later so by using height and width attribute so we will be uh, we will be resizing the image so height so height is let me give some height 300 pixel similarly width okay 300 okay control s let me show you so as you can see you can see right height and width of this particular image is reduced right height and width of this particular image is reduced right so you can uh, give some other value if you want to uh, see your image in small size that means if you want to reduce the size of the image you can reduce the height and width appropriately uh, similarly if you want to uh, increase your size of the image so uh, we can increase the value of height and width appropriately okay so it is not mandatory height and width to be same no uh, let me give some other value to height 
as you can see width remains same height alone gets reduced see height alone gets reduced width remains same right similarly uh, let me change width so let me give some other value 200 control s let me reload my web browser as you can see now height remains same with width alone reduced right so so if you want to reduce your uh, image or if you want to increase the size of the image we can achieve this functionalities using height and width attributes okay so this is what the attribute so attribute exists as name value pair so height is the name of the attribute 250 is the value given to the height so uh, by seeing this attribute our system can understand image should be of 250 image should be of height 250 by seeing this attribute uh, our system can understand image width should be of 200 so we can use a height and width attributes to uh, see the image in small size or big size so let me explain one more attribute so you don't think uh, a tag can, can contain only one attribute no so far we have seen only one attribute for acronym and abbreviation tag we have seen only title attribute right so no like this so a yeah, tag can contain many attributes okay so for example image tag as you can see source is one of the attributes of this particular image tag height is one of the attributes of this particular image tag width is one of the attributes of this particular image tag let me explain some other attributes so you need to understand a particular tag can contain many attributes okay a particular tag can contain many attributes so let me explain title attribute now so what is the main functionality of the title attribute so if you move your mouse to that particular thing you can see the expansion of it right so we have seen this in abbreviation and acronym tag so if you move your mouse to this uh, let me show you see if you move your mouse to uh, ceo you can see chief executive officer right similarly if you move your mouse to nasa you can see national aeronautics and space administration right you can see the expansion of it you can see abbreviation and acronym of it right i can so uh, i can show source code also in source code we we have used title attribute right so this is what the source code for it right so we have used title attribute to achieve this functionality so to achieve the similar functionality in image we will be using uh, we will be using title attribute so let me specify title attribute t i t l e title so title is the name of the attribute let me give some value for it so this file is html logo this image is html logo right so let me give html logo as a value to the title attribute let me save it control s let me reload my browser now if i move my mouse to this particular image as you can see html logo right as you can see the title similar functionality we achieved in abbreviation and acronym tag uh, see if you move your mouse to this you can see the expansion of it right uh, similar functionality we achieved in abbreviation and acronym tag with the help of title attribute right so the same functionality we can achieve in uh, image also with the help of title attribute if you move your mouse here you can see the title of it so uh, whichever the value is specified in title that value you can see there if you move your mouse you can see the value okay if you move your mouse uh, to the image you can see the title of the image so this functionality is achieved with the help of title attribute so this is what the main function of title attribute so far we have seen four attributes let me explain one more attribute alt so alt means alternative text okay so what is the main purpose of alt is that for example you imagine i am giving the file name wrongly for example instead of html uh, by mistake i am you i am writing html okay so there is no such file in my desktop right see see my desktop there is no such file name namely html right there is no such file so uh, let me save this and you see what happens in my web browser let me open my web browser so hope you can see see uh, there is no such image so it displays this icon and this is what title of this particular image right 
so this is what title of the particular image right so there is no such image right so uh, instead of this if you want to make your system to print alternative text you can use alt attribute so for example let me specify some alternative text here alt so alt in the sense let me show uh, the image is not there the image is not found okay image is not found so image is which uh, the image is not found okay so let me save and let me reload my browser as you can see the alternative text is displayed here right okay so if there is no such image in the particular location uh, at that time alternative text will be displayed okay if you want this functionality you can use alt attribute so if the image file is not there or uh, if the system cannot find this particular image file that system will display this alternative text okay so that's why we are using this uh, alternative text as, as you can see here html image file is not found in my desktop right there is no such file in my desktop so that's why it's uh, it's displaying this alternative text alternative text is the image is not found so that's why it's displaying this alternative text so hope you can understand this so okay this is what the uh, main attributes of this image tag okay so in the source attribute you need to specify the file name and you in the alt attribute you need to specify the alternative text if the image is not there what should the web page display that's uh, that content you need to specify there so height width you can adjust the height and width of the image and you can specify title title in the sense if you move your mouse to the particular image you can see the title okay so this is what the main functionality of this particular attributes so you need to understand the functionality of each and every attributes so let me specify correct file name html now let me reload it you can see my image okay you can see my image i i'm moving my mouse to the particular image you can see the title okay so this image is of um, height 250 with the 200 if you want you can increase or decrease it okay now let me explain one more thing here height and width are deprecated attributes that means these two attributes are not in existence why these two attributes decides how the image should look okay image should look in small size or image should look in big size these two attributes de decides or determines how the image should look right so uh, these two attributes decides look and feel of that particular image so look and feel is responsible to presentation layer right so css is responsible to styling so here by using these two attributes we are achieving uh, this particular functionality so these two attributes decides how the image should like uh, look like okay so these two things are uh, related to styling so styling is related to presentation layer so in presentation layer we can achieve this functionality easily so these two attributes are deprecated in html as of now you didn't study about css so you can use deprecated attribute no problem but you need to know these two attributes are not in existence so if you learn css if you learn presentation layer concepts also so you need to achieve uh, this particular functionality in presentation layer okay in, uh, with the help of css okay because you need to remember these two things are deprecated not in existence so in html we do uh, uh, we don't need to use these two attributes height and width are deprecated not in existence so if you uh, learn css then you need to achieve the same functionality using presentation layer that means using css okay you don't uh, you you don't need to you don't need to use html to achieve this functionality okay uh, it is incorrect because these things are not in existence these things are already deprecated so as of now we don't know css okay 
that's why uh, by using html we are achieving so if you learn css you need to use css to achieve this functionality okay because css is responsible to styling css is responsible to look and feel right so as of now you need to remember these two, two things are deprecated after learning css you can uh, implement this functionality using css as of now you implement these things using html okay uh, so this is what the attributes of image tag so you need to remember uh, the functionalities and purposes of each and every attributes so let me explain one more thing now for example uh, let me click here and let me click new folder so for this folder i'm giving some name html images okay now sorry this folder is already there so i'm giving some other name so what so html image okay so i'm giving i'm creating this folder let me uh, copy this file to this folder as you can see now in this folder i'm having html logo right so let me reload my web browser as you can see what happening like this see as you can see the alternative text is displayed right as i already said make sure your web page and your image is in the same location no here image is in on folder right so our system cannot access the folder system can access the desktop alone because my file is in desktop so our system can access the desktop alone so to make my system to access this particular folder what i need to do is that i need to give the folder name folder name is html image right so i need to give forward slash so control s now you can see that particular image okay that particular image is imported there so if uh, here my web page also uh, is in the uh, desktop and my folder also is in the desktop so my web page and my folder is in the same location in that particular folder i'm having image file right so i'm using like this so if your file is in folder your folder should be in the location where the web page uh, is uh if, if the scenario is like this means you can specify like this okay uh, you, you need to specify the folder name first and forward slash and then a file name okay so if you didn't specify the folder name if you specify file name alone then even though if you specify the file name correctly then also it will display the alternative text only okay so this is what i want to say so so far uh, now we have completed so far now we have completed uh, till here right so we have seen how to mark up image on html web page we have imported our first image on html web page that is what html logo so to mark up image on html web page we are using image tag right okay now i'm going to use figure and figure caption tags i will explain what is mean by figure and figure caption tags okay so let me use here let me enclose this using figure tag because this is a figure right so let me enclose this in a figure tag okay so in figure in figure tag i can um uh, i can uh, i can use image tag okay so let me reload my browser nothing will happen okay so this is the use of figure tag you can enclose this image to treat my system to consider this as image or to treat my system to consider this as figure i'm using figure tag previously my system knows this is a particular image now my system knows this is the image with 8250 with the 200 and title html logo okay so this is what the main purpose of figure tag now let me explain figure caption okay so if i explain figure caption you can understand better what is the main purpose of figure and figure caption so figure caption so 
so figure caption in the sense figure caption this is what the tag so let me copy my content and let me paste okay so let me close this particular tag now you see my web browser let me explain the functionality don't worry as you can see caption is displayed here right so this example you can see in newspaper so in newspaper there will be a particular image and below that particular image we can see caption right so to display caption we will be using figure caption tag okay to display caption of that particular image we will be using figure caption tag so this is what the main purpose of figure caption okay so figure i am opening figure tag here i am closing figure tag here so inside a figure tag i can uh, i can specify image and caption for that particular image using figure caption tag so this is what the uh, main purpose of figure caption okay so if you want to display some caption for that particular image so see this is what my caption html is a markup language for documents designed to be displayed in a web browser the html logo is shown here so this is what my caption right so if you want to display some caption to this particular image you can use figure caption tag to achieve this functionality so this is what today's content hope i have completed today's content okay so we have seen how to mark up image on html web page and we have imported our first image that is html logo on our web page okay so to mark up image on html web page we are using image tag and we have discussed various attributes of image tag first we have discussed source attribute in source attribute we will be giving the file name and we will be specifying path in the source attribute so if your file is in some other location some other folder better you copy your file to the place where your web page is okay and we have seen alt so alt in the sense alternative text if your file is not there in the desktop or not there in the location not there in the particular location it will display that alternative text okay and you can specify height and width for the particular image so these two things are deprecated attribute you will not be using these two attributes in html we can achieve this functionality easily in css so after learning css you don't use height and width in uh, html so by using css you need to achieve this okay so as of now uh, we didn't start to learn css that's why i'm using height and width uh, deprecated attributes in html then finally we have seen title so title means if i move my mouse to this particular image i can Uh, see my title okay i can see the value of the title okay so these are the various attributes of image tag we have discussed these things and finally we have discussed figure and figure caption tags so inside the figure tag i can use image tag as well as figure caption tag so figure caption tag is mainly used to give some caption to the image so this is what the main purpose of figure caption tag so this is the agenda we have discussed today finally uh now we are going to see one exercise so let me show you um so this is what your exercise so uh, from google you download any file okay from google you download uh, any ice cream file so i am downloading ice cream file if you want you can download ice cream file also so you need to import that particular ice cream file in your web page okay you need to import that particular ice cream file in your web page so you need to give some heading to this i am giving ice cream right so with the help of appropriate tag you need to give some heading to this and you need to import this particular file okay and you need to specify title if you want you can reduce the width and height of this particular file okay uh next you need to specify title if i move my mouse here you can see the title ice cream right so uh if i move my mouse anywhere you can see the title right so likewise you need to import you need to use title attribute and finally i need i want to see this caption below my image okay so this is uh, what uh, the exercise okay so please pass the video and try to code the exercise by your own after coding 
you uh, please resume the video and see how I am coding. Okay, guys. Hope you have coded successfully. Let's see how I am coding. So this is what my code. Okay, this is what my code. Uh, in previous uh, class, we have seen this exercise. Now you see from here. So as you can see, my title is exercise four. So in the title bar of the web browser, you can see exercise four. Okay. So now let me explain. So ice cream is heading. So this size, this size is not so big, not so small. So I'm using some intermediate heading tag, ice cream. Okay. So I'm using figure tag. Okay. I'm using figure tag. So inside my figure tag, I'm using image tag and figure caption tag. So image tag is a self-closing tag because there is no content. We need to specify file name alone. So as you can see, my file is in desktop. My ice cream file is in my desktop, right? As you can see, ice cream. So I'm specifying file name ice cream.png. If my file is not there, I'm giving some alternative text. This is an ice cream image. The image is not there. So I'm specifying title as ice cream. So if I move my mouse to the particular image, I can see the title ice cream. So I'm adjusting width and height of this particular file. Okay, because uh, till now we didn't uh, started to learn CSS. We are learning HTML alone. So I'm using, I'm resizing my image in HTML itself. So figure caption, I want to display this particular uh, uh, caption uh, under my image. That's why I'm using figure caption tag. Even you can use paragraph tag, but that is logically incorrect. Okay, so this is not a paragraph. This is a caption to the particular image, right? Uh, if you use paragraph tag, our system or Google search engine will treat this particular thing as paragraph type information. No, this is not paragraph. This is caption to this particular image, right? So uh, our system or Google search engine to make our system or Google search engine to treat this particular thing as caption to this particular image, I'm using figure caption tag. So as I said earlier, source code is important. We need to use correct source code, okay? Source code is important. So figure caption, figure caption in the sense, figure caption. So this is what my description. Ice cream is one of the most popular desserts. Ice cream is frozen sweet food. My favorite ice creams are vanilla and chocolate. Different flavors of ice creams are shown here. Okay, so this is what the description of this particular image. So this is just a simple exercise. Okay, so uh, these things we have coded in uh, previous class. So this is, uh, this is what exercise for. You need to do this. I hope you coded successfully. Uh, okay, so let me explain one more thing. If this file is in my some other folder, for example, I'm using this file is in my HTML image and copy. So you can see there is two images, right? Ice cream and H uh, HTML logo. So if I want to import ice cream there, I need to specify the correct path, right? How how I need to specify? As you can see, my folder and my web page are in the same location. So what I need to do there? I need to, if I uh, save this and reload it, you can see the alternative text because our system cannot access the particular image. So this is what the alternative text. This is an ice cream image. The image is not there. So this is description of this image. Okay. So uh, to make my system to access my particular, uh, to access image, I, I, I want to give the correct path. So I'm specifying the folder name plus forward slash okay so make sure that your folder and your web page is in the same location so control s now you can see my image okay so this is what the uh, agenda for today we have completed today's agenda we have marked up we we imported our first image on our html web page hope so uh, this hope this video is interesting hope you enjoyed this video so i would like to wind up uh, wind up from this uh, we will be discussing some basic links uh, some email links in next uh, video or next class okay so this is what the agenda for today we have completed agenda so we have completed everything so i would like to wind up my session so thank you for your patience listening so if this video is useful to you, kindly, uh, if this video is useful to you, 
kindly click uh, kindly hit the like button and uh, if you feel any difficulties or if you have any doubts or if you have some if expectations feel free to comment me in the comment section or you can mail me my mail id is in the description box so you can mail me personally no problem i'll be seeing all comments and mails and uh, please share this video to your friends and relatives those who want to learn html and uh, those who are interested to become web developer this video will be useful to them also so that's it so if this video is useful to you kindly subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that will be uh, that's a kind of motivation for me so thank you uh, let me wind up my session so let me wind up my session thank you guys See you all in my next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.